Hey, it's Dan Lear, number one best-selling author and the most requested speaker in Las Vegas. Today's message is about persistence, about drive, and about hitting your goals. So I find myself in a unique situation, obviously very qualified to talk about that subject. I've always been a very disciplined person and always have been a, a goal achiever, someone who set their sights on something and made it happen. Yet, uh, obviously, I'm in a different situation now, and, and those of you who don't know, I'm battling a deadly blood disease right now and taking chemotherapy and doing all the treatments and all these types of things that can easily set somebody back. And so I have people come to me all the time and talk about, you know, how you doing it, how you staying so up, how you staying so positive. And, you know, the short answer is there's really no alternative. And when I talk about that in relationship to you being your very best or you hitting your goals, it's really all about what you see for yourself. You know, I've always been a big believer is that you go towards the things that you see for yourself. The challenge is many people don't see themselves achieving certain goals. So if you're not able to see yourself doing certain things like driving a certain car or earning a certain amount of money, then you won't do the things necessary to get there because it's not real for you. So as I sit in my situation, I mean, I've even had a really good friend of mine uh, talk to me and, you know, in confidence, everybody always wants to know, how you doing, man? How you really doing? And he asked me, he said, so, you know, how, when did you first start crying and, or when did you cry? And, and I was like, what are you talking about? He goes, you know, about your situation. And I said, I never have. I said, I never have. In fact, my wife and I have never sat down on the couch and started crying. And the fact is, is the reason why is that I've never seen myself dying. I mean, I've never seen myself passing away because of my situation. I see myself winning. I see myself having a long life. I see myself walking on the beach. I see myself jogging with my wife on the beach. I see myself doing things with my kids. I don't see myself in a hospital room up to an IV as my breath goes out. And that seems overdramatic, but if I was thinking about that, I sure would be sad and I sure wouldn't be compelled to move forward. So, you know, as I'm doing my things right now, I'm still doing all my keynote talks, travel around the country. I'm still writing, finishing up my sales book uh, and I'm doing the things that I normally would do. And so the question is, how do you do it? And my answer goes back to my original statement. It's the vision, it's the things that you see for yourself. I see myself living, I see myself having a long career, I see myself thriving, I see myself doing keynotes all over the world and I see myself raising my fee as every year goes by. And so as a result of that, I'm driven to do this daily tasks, to do the things necessary get, to get to where I wanna go. And so in regards to you, reaching your dreams, hitting your goals, or crushing your quota, whatever it is you're looking to do, the first thing you've gotta do is you've gotta really see it. You've gotta see it for yourself. I mean, if you can't see it for yourself, nobody else is gonna. And you seeing it for yourself and feeling it and believing it will allow you to take that step forward, to make that extra sales call or to go to that extra networking meeting or address that certain person or really do a great job in that presentation. Because if you knew that presentation was gonna lead you to higher places, you would make sure that you were totally prepared and you wouldn't take shortcuts. And so my message to you today is to really think about what you wanna do, what your goal really is. And you've gotta visualize it and you've gotta feel it and you've gotta see it, and you've gotta believe that it's inside of you. You know, I see my future ahead of me. I see it ahead of me and up. And I can see myself achieving all those things. Uh, and everybody's different. Everybody has a different timeline for success. So wherever you see yourself, you've got to put yourself in that picture and allow yourself to be there because that is what is going to cause you to get up early and do the things that you really don't want to do and do the extra things that allow people who are successful to do. Because as you know, successful people will do what the failures or the mediocre people or underachievers just won't do. And it's not that they're bad people. It's just that the successful people see themselves in a different way. And so I really believe that the vision you have for yourself, the self-image 
that you have for yourself is what drives you to be your very best. And so make that happen today. Think about where you want to be, see the picture, what you, think about your self image. And of course, if you want help with this, you can always reach me at danlear.com. Or if you want to tech, check out our sales platform or our, our online platform for sales and productivity, go to crushyourquota.com. That's where the champions live, right there, baby. Make it a great month. See yourself, see the self image, set your goals and make it happen. My name is Dan Lear and this is your year to rise above.